Just how do you start up a .com website? The process seems really complicated to some, so in this video we're going to be taking that process and splitting it up into different categories to try to simplify it. So this video is going to be split up into three parts and hopefully by the end of these three videos you'll have a better grasp on how to make a website and ultimately put it on the web. So the simple answer to the question that you guys are all asking is you buy it. You could head over to a website like godaddy.com and purchase a domain name for about 12 bucks a year. But it doesn't end there. Just what is a domain name exactly? What is all this hosting nonsense that's written everywhere? And how do you go about actually making your website to put it online? And also, how do you get all of that for free? Stay tuned and we'll be answering all of those questions in detail. So just what is a domain name and what is a hosting account? Well, think of a hosting account like your house. You keep all of your content inside of your house, right? And just how do you direct someone towards your house when they want to come over? You give them your address, and that is your domain name. With a $12 purchase, you could buy that domain name, but it won't work unless you have a hosting package that goes along with it so you could upload all of your website files onto that. Now you could either buy the domain name separately from a website like godaddy.com and buy the hosting separately from a different website and link them together, or you could actually just look for hosting websites that provide you with a free domain name as a package deal. A quick Google search will provide you with hundreds or even thousands of websites that provide this service. But just to name a few, you could use Bluehost.com, which is what I use, JustHost.com, or HostGator.com. Now all of these services you need to pay yearly for. Now I have 9 websites, so trust me it adds up really quickly. So just how do we get these services for free? You'll find the answers to that in part 2 of this video, so click on this annotation to take you guys there. Thank you guys for watching.